What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Need a Podcast, episode 137. We're two weeks away from Madden. Super horned up. Boss Bio Wars coming soon. Actually, real soon. Madden drops the 12th. Get your money ready, boys. I, I'll be honest. I I have been getting hammered, spending a lot of money. And then I forget that Madden's coming out, and it's going to cost me a couple grand. I might just do no money spent from the beginning. You know, why do I need to spend money? Right, boys? I might have to take out a loan. I might have to. I bought a PlayStation. It's just been rough. And it's just been rough. But, you know, it is... All right, see, the sounds are OD now. The sounds are just OD. We Y'all just going to spam sounds during the podcast. Is that what we're going to do now? If you want to spam sounds and spam these dumbass sounds, I mean, you don't hear them on the YouTube video. You don't hear them on the VOD. But if you're live here, you can spam these dumbass sounds. You know, and that that's part of the new stream. And we're thinking of sounds. What sounds can we spam? And the chat, the chat's going to see. The chat's going to figure it out. And we're going to have the best sounds ever. Now, honestly, I might turn these off for Boss Bot Wars 4 because it might get too crazy. It might get too crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just imagine Boss Bot Wars 4 with the sounds. Or do I make sounds free? Do I make sounds free? I don't know. There's two options we have here. So, for me, uh... It's definitely, definitely options here. Two extremes. Sounds might have to be free. <laughs> I think I think you put it at one. Only the players can hear them. No, I do. I, I think it would be old. My man Killer will hit. I, and we kept the hype train while we restarted the stream. Let's get it. My man Killer through September with the sub. Let's go. Uh, more than resubbed. Heal. My bad. I was going through some technical difficulties when all these popped off. Eight months for my man Heal. Father gifted this. Uh, my man Nine Dong. Dong. With, with the prime for four minutes. Appreciate you. My man Bama's in the building. 22 months. Let's get it, man. Jehovah. I got. I, see, first of all, your problem is... Now, I'm going to start a series, man. I'm going to start a series. I have been working hard as fuck. I have been. I'll be honest with you, boys. If you guys have been paying attention, I have been doing a lot of shit. A lot of extra shit. And I've been working OD. All right? I, I think my... I, I mean, we've been working, right? But, uh... The, we're delayed right now, yes. Now, I will tell you, my man Jinko, Ginko, Ginko, do you know there's a tree called a Ginko? And, see, my I always remembered this tree when I was a little kid, because my dad was trees, right? So, he would always try to teach me the trees, and I was stupid. It took me a while to figure them out. But the Ginko tree smells like shit. It has, like, pods on it. Now, this is serious. The Ginko tree... The ginkgo tree actually has pods on it. Some this is an eraser. It's an eraser. It's just on my desk. I've been drawing too. So through all these all this content. <laughs> ginkgo biloba. Look at this guy. The ginkgo biloba tree. Okay. The ginkgo biloba tree. There see not see my man knows about the ginkgo biloba. But it has pods. See, every every plant has flowers and seeds. All right, boys? Now, you think a tree doesn't have flowers. All plants have flowers and seeds. That's how the tree has sex. That's how plants have sex. That's how they reproduce. Flowers, seeds, all that stuff. But some have pods. And the ginkgo, and the ginkgo has pods. The, the, see, the ginkgo has pods, right? And, and the thing about the ginkgo biloba is that it stinks. It smells like shit. When these pods fall, you can smell the ginkgo tree. And then my dad would always call it the stinko ginkgo. That's how I always remembered the ginkgo biloba tree. So that's just a little bit of knowledge that you did not have before this podcast. This podcast will always teach you a little bit of something. But the stinko ginkgo, the ginkgo biloba tree, it has a lot of good values. All right? Ginkgo biloba. See, there you go. Y'all got smarter. Kendall, I'm glad you took something from that. You could have children here playing sounds the entire time I'm talking about it. But that's cool, too. But 
Uh, oh, wait, okay. So, like I said, I've been working. And my next in the next two weeks, I'm going to put out a ton of Madden videos. Um, but one of them is going to be about streaming, okay? And Jehovah says I did not answer his DM. Because, honestly, social media unity is a big deal. When your name is Jehovah whatever the shit your name is on Twitch, and then your name is Karen58 on Twitter. How the hell do I know it's you? And then this is the craziest part, is people with that problem just assume that you know. They just assume that you know it's them. Yo, what's up? Like, who the fuck is this Karen D DMing me? Am I supposed to know who this is? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then they like, then they like, um... Uh, why you didn't answer me? Because I don't know who the hell it is. Yeah. So for me, bro. It's just, it's just rough, man. I, I feel like the social media unity. Now, mine aren't all, all perfect. Like, dub.w would be my perfect tag for everything. Not for Twitch, though. I think dub.w is a little bit too long for a streamer. I don't know. I kind of like dub. If the streamer goes crazy, but. Yeah, make sure all that shit match so people know. So people people don't know for real for real. Now the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, I will once I take no for real, I once I take a picture of my actually, you know what, since y'all here now, fuck everybody on Twitter. What's my man my man Colt? What's his name? What's the tag? Yeah, this is my man right here. My man no Chevy. So if y'all need a PS5, hit my man up right here. This is the guy that got me my PS5. So if you need one, he will get you one. I don't know what price he's going to negotiate with y'all. My price might have been different than y'all's. But hit my man up right there. He got me my my uh he got me my PS5. So Jehovah, there you go. Hit my man up. Like I said, I, I just put it over here. You guys see I did put it. This camera's probably scuffed right now. But it is right here. But I did not hook it up yet. It's not hooked up. So when I hook it up, I'll take a picture of it and I'll post about it. But honestly, it's right there. There it is, my PS5. So I can get easier games, head glitch cam. The head glitch cam sucks and I want to get a new camera for it. But y'all don't stand the console upright? Well, the Xbox has to go upright. The console has to go up or the Xbox. Yeah. I need now Rob is here. He tells me I don't need a new camera. I want to buy a new goddamn camera for that for that site, for that scene. But I'm gonna have to mess with it. So I've been working hard, but like I said, social media unity is a big deal. The need is stickers. I have needed stickers. See I have a bunch of these. See these little shits. You know what I'm saying? Feet camera. These little shits, you know. I get my stickers from what you call it. Uh, Dragon Tiger has Dragon Tiger sub now. Like what? What has happened to Dragon Fire? Dragon Tiger. All right, let's talk about this. The, there are no, so you cannot buy stickers there. You can't buy stickers there. Who the fuck would buy stickers? I can't even get people to buy t-shirts. I can't even get people to buy t-shirts. Who has a t-shirt in this chat? Who has a, who has a needed gaming t-shirt? That votes is right, my man, uh... Who has the need of gaming? Bro, who, like, bro, who has one? One of y'all gotta have one. Crazy brings a good point about... Now, I did say this the other day. All right, the physicality tee is only coming in black. You're not getting a physicality tee in green or red. That's pussy. I'll be honest. You don't be physical in a red shirt. I'm being honest. You don't. You might look good, 
Red might be your color, but it's not physical. Come on, bro. The merch is at needagamestore.com. You can type exclamation point store in the chat or exclamation more merch. No, nobody missed the teams with the NFL teams. I worked so fucking hard making all them NFL logos with the Nita logo. And I think I sold two of those. And everybody told me how great they were. So everybody was like, yo, those shirts are awesome. Nobody bought them shit. So I was over them. I'm going to, I might, the Nita, the, the merch is going to be very uh, downsized. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what the hell are we talking about? Oh, breakfast take. Chick-fil-A breakfast is trash. It's not even top 10 breakfast you can get before noon. It's not. I would almost rather go to IHOP than Chick-fil-A for breakfast. No, seriously. For real. Now, Wendy's breakfast is good. Potatoes are fire. I, it's not trash. Chicken minis suck. Those shits are trash. I will, they are terrible. Chicken minis, if you're a man and you order chicken minis, bro, you, oh my God. You are, like, you're just, like, simply not the man. You're simply not. There's no man that drinks beer and then w wakes up the next morning and ch gets chicken minis. The chicken biscuit is cool. I, honestly, I'm kind of not really... I'm kind of really not a biscuits. I'm, this is how I feel. A good biscuit is elite, right? It's probably the best. But most of the time, a biscuit is not meeting those expectations. No matter where you get the biscuit from, the top tier biscuit is hard to meet that expectation. For real. Minis are not fire. They're 90% bread and they're chicken nuggets. For real. And this is how I feel about the chicken bis the chicken sandwich. One, the Chick-fil-A spicy deluxe is the top tier fast food item. There is not one item that is over the spicy deluxe from Chick-fil-A. It is the best item you can get. Alright? And to take that chicken and then put it on a biscuit is degrading the chicken. Right? It is really, it is really a letdown. You know what I'm saying? Now people say this. People say, you can get the sausage, egg, and cheese or the bacon, egg, and cheese from Chick-fil-A. I'm cool. I'd rather go get that from McDonald's because McDonald's has the most elite fast food breakfast. In fact, McDonald's would be a top-tier fast food establishment if they only had breakfast. Honestly. Popeye's chicken sandwich, it's actually... Actually, I I'm I'm on the, the the Wendy's the Wendy's spicy chicken is over Popeyes. I'm over Popeyes is overrated, bro. That shit, Popeyes is forty percent fry, like forty percent batter, right? Then I feel like yo, I swear the Popeyes chicken sandwich make you feel like you won't have a heart attack. I swear to God. Chick-fil-A is uh Chick-fil-A is elite, elite of the elite. Yeah, Popeyes is like like I listen, I eat a lot. I'm a big guy. I can't do two two, two Popeyes chicken sandwiches. I can't. I can't. That shit is too nasty. By the time you have like like bro, it's too nasty. I, I it's to the point where Popeyes I'd rather get the tender meal than the sandwich really. I, my order from Chick-fil-A is two spicy deluxes. That's all I get. And then I eat like two of her fries and drink her fries. If I was by myself, I'd probably get some fries. But you definitely need the two. I feel like the two spicy sandwiches is elite. For, that's an elite level meal from Chick-fil-A. Now, I will tell you that the, chicken, the Wendy's spicy chicken is probably my second chicken sandwich. For real, for real. The McDonald's one is trash. But on 
the topic. Chicken minis are ass. They are absolutely terrible. And I see so many me boys. They're boys. Oh, get the chicken minis. There's no... You know who gets the chicken minis? My girl gets the chicken minis. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? They're the driest shit in the world. I didn't think it was possible to make Chick-fil-A chicken dry. But putting that big ass piece of bread on it makes them dry. It's not a biscuit. It's not a muffin. What is that bread? The minis are terrible. Bro, the minis are absolutely basura. They're, they're like the worst fast food item you could buy. No, chicken minis are for little girls. My son is going to be eating chicken minis in two months. He'll be eating five chicken minis. Chicken minis are trash. Trash. What is good about them? What is good about chicken minis? What is good about them? They're mini! For real, why would you get the chicken mini over the sandwich? Explain it to me. You have an option, sandwich or chicken minis. Why would you get a chicken mini? Price. I'll be honest, if you look at the price of the fast food, if you're getting chicken minis because they're cheaper than the sandwich, bro, you got to get a better job. I, I'm going to be honest. You got to get a better job. If you go to the Chick-fil-A drive through and you say, oh, shit, chicken minis are $4.99, but the sandwich is $5.30. You need a better job. Come on, dude. Now, see, the dollar menu is one thing. I'm never going to tell somebody they shouldn't go spend because I can't lie. I've been on the biggie bag. There's no way. I've been on the biggie bag from Wendy's. I still be disappointed a little bit in the biggie bag, but I always grab a spicy chicken sandwich with the with the biggie bag. You know what I'm saying? All right. Two biggie bags. All right, this is my point. You're going two biggie bags. All right, you're already up to twelve dollars now. Now you might as well got a number six with. You know what I'm saying? The Biggie Bag is not bad. I don't know what burger they put. Oh, listen, maybe because like I think Wendy's originated in Ohio. Wendy's is elite in Ohio, like elite. I think their shit is fresh from the farm in Ohio or something, dude. Like it's a bro, unreal. In fact, I think it's I think Wendy's has elevated to to the the top tier of fast food. Yes, it is elite. I'll be honest with you. I, I I don't. Nothing compares to McDonald's breakfast. It really doesn't. I only have I only have four fast food. No, I only have four fast foods on my tier list. Uh, Chick Fil A, Five Guys, Wendy's, and McDonald's. That's it. Now, if you want to go chicken, I'd go Popeyes. Their tenders are really good. I like Popeyes. But other than that, all that other shit, miss me with it. Taco Bell. If I never had Taco Bell again, I wouldn't be upset. <coughs> I I'm not going to say Taco Bell is trash, but if I never had it again, would I really miss it? Not really. Burger King? No. If I never had it again, I could wake up tomorrow and never have Burger King again. I wouldn't be missing much. Nope. Nope. Arby's, listen, I'm not the one to hate on Arby's, but once again, if I never had Arby's again, would I be upset? No. I'm not, people hate on Arby's. It's like it's like a meme to hate on Arby's, but it's really not. It's really kind of solid, really. I will tell you, Checkers, Checkers and Rallies is a dub, but like I said, they're not up there with McDonald's and Wendy's and stuff like that. No, I'm telling you, McDonald's, Wendy's, Chick Fil A, Elite. There's no cookout anywhere near here, and but I'll be honest, if you're not. If you're not, if you're in one area of the state, are you, if you're, if you're in one area of the country, are you really that good? For real. Right? Are you really that good? Chipotle, another thing, like, come on. Nah. No. 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 None of that stuff is top tier. It's not. <laughs> White Castle.
I had Kane. Kane's is in Ohio crazy a lot. It's okay. I'm still taking Popeyes. I never understood. They put bread on your plate. I'm talking bread. Like a big ass hunk of white bread. Half of the plate is bread. They do that at Kane's. I'm cool. Like for real. The bread is fire. Y'all y'all got that, man. Chicken wings. Let's go chicken wings top commercial chicken wings. I've always been a Hooters guy. I, I like Hooters. I think Hooters is good. Buffalo Wild Wings is like super kind of mid. Wingstop is Wingstop is good. I've always been a Hooters. Hooters has always been good. When I went into Sat and ate Hooters, it's always been good. <sighs> Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings has the best sauces. But they're, every time I get Buffalo Wild Wings, bro, they don't understand fried hard. They're never fried enough in Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, they're terrible, honestly. In and out is In and Out is trash. Wendy's is better than In and Out. I will I will take that. I would rather have Wendy's than In and Out. One million percent. I never get wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. In and Out, it, it's not bad. But come on, bro. Y'all can't bring that. Like, bro, the fries are so trash that it's not even a valid spot. Like the fries are like I will when you when you go to like a, a burger place and you can make fries at home better than the fries that they sell, that's an automatic I'm not going back there. For real. If I can make fries that are better than the ones you serve, why would I go to your restaurant ever? All right, McDonald's has the best fries, and it's not the, it, that's not even debatable. There's other good fries, but McDonald's is top tier fry. In fact, McDonald's fries is what makes them elite. For real, for real. Checkers, checkers are good. They just too, they them Jones is too heavy. Yo, checkers fries are super heavy. Like, bro, them Jones are just a gr ball of grease or <laughs> a case of grease. I'm being honest. Some shit is nasty. It's too fucking greasy. What the fuck? Like, what? Y'all don't... Y'all... Like... Big Mac is trash. The Whopper... The Whopper is not that trash because it has lettuce and tomato and onion, so it's solid. But the Big Mac is trash. There's local spots that... Sh I hate those guys. There's local spots. Well, you go to fucking Barry's Burgers down the corner, all right? You go have fun in Barry's fucking Burgers. Give me five minutes to run through the, the, the drive through and get a burger, all right? There's local spots. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I think that's like common knowledge, isn't it? Five Guys is not as greasy as, as Checkers Fries. Their burger, crazy. But, nah... Five Guys is made with potato oil or, or peanut oil, not real stuff. But I will tell I've been to everywhere other than, than cookout. In and out is trash. In and out's not trash. Y'all just hype it up, really. All right. Remember when we were like supposed to talk about Madden? Uh... Oh. So cookout is so cookout is Waffle House, but the burger the burger one. Let's build, let, yo, Huddle GG. I don't know who runs the Huddle GG anymore. I don't know who Huddle GG is. Is it the Rocket Man? Does Ro Oh, look at Ghost. Ghost is ugly. 
I mean, if we went by looks, I would have this whole, like, if we went just by looks, I'm the best looking on this whole list. I'll be honest, I, I do like Huddle GG because they gave me a generous $3 rating. I like that. I like my $3 rating. I like that. I feel like I'm a $4 type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like I'm a $4 type of guy. Kiv is the best look. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Y'all are dicky in. I'm top five good looking on this whole list. I mean, I was cool with a three until Boogs was a three. Then I was like, all right, hold up. So it's like, all right. Who would I pick? Now, honestly, I thought about this. I thought about this a lot. You got $10. You can pick four people. Banks' is one is kind of glitchy. He's kind of a steal for $1, Banks down there. He's kind of a steal. And now, I kind of know some of these guys, like, personally, right? So, it's easier for me. Drinny, no way I'm paying for it for Drinny. Drinny, let me tell you something about Drinny. Drinny's just good. He don't add shit to the team. You understand? Drinny, let me tell you something about Drinny. Drinny low-key steals shit from everybody and is just better than us. I don't know how he does it. Drinny has took my offense for three years straight. For real. But he's just fucking goaded. He just wins. Drinny's just good. But he don't, like, add nothing. In fact... Bro, when I had to play... Now, when I forget who I had to play. I think I had to play Kiv. Bro... This is why Drinny is not on my... I, I'm sitting in, in, in the Discord with Drinny for like five hours talking about Madden. This motherfucker wouldn't play me. I'm beating the shit out of Bugs and Clef. I'm like, I'm tough. I'm feeling tough. I got Drinny, the fucking goat of forever. Drinny, can I get a game? Nah, 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 nah. So I go into the game thinking I'm the man. Then just Kiv just beat the shit out of me. That's See? That's why I couldn't have Drinny on. I can't I can't pay four for Drinny. I can't. I can't. Now. Kiv and Joke are kind of worth a four. I feel like Kiv and Joke are kind of like they kind of find shit. Especially K Kiv. Now, Kiv is like the a defensive guy. See, y'all don't see that because y'all y'all kind of slow. But Kiv is like, a, he comes up with the defense. He's kind of a defensive guy. I, w I would say that. Skimbo is a stubborn fuck. He don't listen to shit. Right? He don't ever come up with a defense. And the way Skimbo play offense, can nobody else play like Skimbo? It's impossible. It's literally impossible to play like him. So... But he had he does add a lot of things. He he helps add a lot of things. Joke comes up with a lot of stuff. Now we laugh about Bugs. Now I will tell you that on this list, Bugs has probably helped me become a better man player more than any other person. Probably five times more than any other person. Bugs just sucks when it comes down to the come down, honestly. <laughs> so I'm not, it's not that he doesn't help squad. Cause I'll be honest. He's made Trey. Like, but Trey, like, y'all don't understand how ass Trey was before squad. But Boogs has made Trey. Clef steal everything from everybody. Clef don't make nobody. Clef don't come up with shit. Clef is like a poor man's journey, for real. Because he don't get shit done like journey. But he just steal from everybody. No, Clef don't. Clef don't come up with a, a, a route combo. He don't come up with a defensive setup. He don't do nothing. Boogs comes up with the route combos. No, 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 no. No, Skimbo. No, I wasn't shitting. You just got here. I wasn't shitting on Boogs. I'm saying Boogs makes squad offensively better. Like, Boogs has made me better by stealing some of his route, his route combos and shit like that. I just say Boogs don't get it done in the clutch. That's all. That's all I'm saying. So if I was building a squad, Boogs would... I mean, $3 is a little too high for Boogs. 
you know, but he's he. I would tell you, Boogs is more worth three dollars than Journey is worth four dollars. Journey is not worth four fucking dollars for real. Kiv and Joke are worth four to have on his squad. I just said that, Skimbo. Clef, Clef could be one. Clef, it could be one. He don't come up with nothing. He don't add shit to squad. No, but if I had $10, I would definitely pick Kiv. Kiv would be probably my number one pick. I would probably pick Kiv, Boogs. Maybe not Boogs. Hold up. Ghost, Ghost. I'm see when I think about a squad, I d- I see my boys and I think about what listening, talking to them every night, right? It's like Ghost is fucking annoying, bro. He's another yo. He's probably the most stubborn fucking person on here, bro. For real. Ghost don't fucking listen. You can't have a squad when you get in a squad and they don't listen. It's like it's hard to really like talk to them. For real, for real. Skimbo don't really listen either until he realize. But he'll realize. Ghost? No. Ghost will be stubborn a whole year. And just, just, he don't give a fuck how much he see it. If Skimbo see some shit work, he not stubborn. Like, but he got to see it. He don't believe you. Ghost will see the shit. He'll have the shit happen to him. He will get drilled by some shit. And he'll still be stubborn. That's the difference in their stubbornness. Well, the person I flood all the time, that, that's Boogs. That's why Boogs. But then Boogs also, no, but no, that doesn't work because that's what happened. I, I was popping Boogs and Clef and Trey, and then I played Kiv, and I was like, holy shit, this is a different type of player. And I blame Drinny for that because Drinny never gave me any runs. Why the fuck would you want Wesley on your team? Messiah 8, you want Wesley? Like, for real, you got Cam or Wesley? Who you going with? Cam. he's got a bandana? Come on, bro. Stiff or Wesley? Come on. The funniest person on here is user. <laughs> Are we going with the all vibes team? <laughs> Damn, my squad really just all vibes now. <laughs> I'm all vibes, user all vibes. <laughs> we just all we all vibes team now. That's all we can add. <laughs> vibe squad. Oh yeah. Well this was a good little but I will tell you Kiv joke are probably like now I never really like played with them like and like talked Madden with them I guess or like do I don't know how stubborn I don't know their level of stubbornness I really just know Journey Skimbo Clef but my boys really that's all but Kevin Joke I feel like always come up with some good shit uh, they'd be nice to have in a squad uh, Ghost is fucking Ghost not on the team why am I three. Why, why would I not be three? I'm a fucking legend. All right? I don't know. I didn't make the rankings. Did I make the list? I didn't make the goddamn list. But it is important to have some decent people. Um, It's one of the toughest parts of Madden is like kind of getting some good people around you because I feel like at this point in my life I could always be good at mad even when I'm like 50 because like I could spend like even this year I didn't play with the boys at all all year and then like I was I was at I mean never asked but like I remember when I first the problem was I would play Trey Trey was kind of ass and I was like damn tough <laughs> right but then I played, I remember I played Clef like a week before LCQ and he was fucking me up. I was like, bro, Clef was fucking me up like bad. I'm like, damn, I'm ass. But then I started playing the boys for a whole week. And then by the end of the week, I was fucking Clef up. And he couldn't score. He couldn't do shit. And that's when I really, all I got to do is sit around the boys for a little bit of time and I'll catch right up. It ain't that hard. For real. 
for overall. No, nah, Trey don't stink. Trey just need more confidence. Trey need more confidence. Trey listen to everything. You tell that motherfucker to get two punters just in case your punter gets tired. He'd be like, all right, that's a good idea. He don't believe in himself. He the opposite of stubborn. <laughs> Journey be like, yo, switch playbooks. Trey be like, all right. All right, I'm switching. Trey, yo, you should really run, run power eye. All right, I'm going to try it. No, no. S Trey is the most switch his fucking idea every minute. Bro, he is the opposite of stubborn. He can be talked into anything. For real, for real. Oh my god. Play I don't know how I didn't talk them into Playmaker. I don't know whose idea was it not to use Playmaker. I don't know whose. I think it was Boogs. And that's what I mean. Like, Trey is like, if, if Boogs say eat eat juice, Trey would eat juice. If Boogs say put that guy on a slant, Trey would put it on a slant. When Boogs say he ain't need Playmaker, I said, bro, it's the best shit in the game. And they, they just never need a Playmaker. What's crazy is I've always hated Playmaker. I've always thought Playmaker was for people that couldn't pass. It's for shitter, it's, it was for shitty passers. It always has been. People that say, oh shit, my play didn't work. Let me get another option because my play didn't work. I always thought it sucked. But this year it was just way too high powered to not have. I don't know how they couldn't use Playmaker. Yeah, it still is the same thing. It, yo, it really still is the same thing, though. It really still is like, but this year it beat everything. Yes, exactly, Wesley. Once it beat everything... It was like, all right, dude, how is this not on your team? It's the best shit in the game. How do you not see that? Yeah. Yeah, it always was a bailout. This year was just too good to ignore it. It was too good to ignore it. If you ignored it, you were just doing yourself an in-service. For real. But, yeah, the crew is good. I'm at Evo in the building with five months. Let's go, man. Yes. Yes. I I would, Pat. I, if it was 12 AP. If I, you could just have Gunslinger and Playmaker, I, that's what I would use. Yep. How is CP2? He's drooling. He's talking a lot. Blah, 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 blah. That's about, that's the level of his life right now. He's sitting, he just sits here and plays with his toys. All right, I did put, I did repost my video from last year. If you guys check it out, where my where my guys had checked out my video that I reposted, it was a really good video. I really liked it. So if you guys check that out, where are we at? Let me link that up. It's about competing, man. A lot of people um. It is from last year, but it's the exact yeah, it's the exact same thing. I, I couldn't edit out Madden Twenty One. It's literally the same video. Like I didn't I didn't want to edit the shit out. It, I don't know. See, it, the same things apply. No, it was, I really because what happened was I I was just thinking, man, let me just repost this video or like retweet it out. But then my uh, what's gonna call it? The editor was like, it'll just repost it and change the thumbnail. I said, okay, shit worked. No, for real, it was it was real it it was uh, probably one of my best videos and people listen. You can bitch about the game or you can try and compete. That's all, you know. It's a lot of money out here. It's a lot of fun. Let me tell you something, man. And this is another thing that pisses me off. You know what pisses me? What just pisses me off when people open their mouth to say content is more valuable than being competitive. Everybody fucking knows that. Like, it's literally like saying the sky is blue. Everybody knows that. There's nobody. There's nobody that says, you know what? I'm going to make my life from competitive Madden. They're really. But for me, people just like playing Madden competitively. I don't know why people don't understand that shit. People love it. For real.
We all, I, that's why we're here. The hell? So for me, it's, uh, I hate when people say that shit because they just don't understand that the shit could be, the fact that they're giving away a million dollars, a million dollars to me is like, uh, that's like a bonus. Dudes were doing this when they were giving away a thousand dollars. So I, I hate when people say that. So if you want to compete, check out that video. All you guys, man, I, I, I strongly believe in that stuff. Uh, I think competing, if your mind is right, that's the most important thing first, really. Uh, that's uh, that's the most important thing. You got to get your mind right. You got to get your thoughts right. You got to get your, your, I guess, your your drive or your focus in the right spot for real for real for real so i hate when people say oh uh the the content is more valuable than the competitive and then they say it as if you can't do both of them shits like i i never understood why people think you can't do both Coin sponsor, last year I turned down 5K a month. I turned down from coin sponsor. I don't even think I could do it, man. I really don't. I don't think I could do it. It's just, it's just too much fun, man. Yeah, I think it's just too much fun. Yeah, I turned it down just to play LCQ. It's just, it's just too much fun, man. Like, for real. That's what... I feel like this... I feel like what makes me love Madden is just that passion. You know, like... That's what makes it fun. If I didn't have that shit for Madden... Like, I can play other games and not really give a shit if I'm good or not. I can do that all day. Like, but Madden, if I was just, like, hopeless, that'd be rough. We'll see, though. Uh... It's not even, like y'all don't y'all don't understand. You know. It's just more fun, man. It's just more fun playing good people, I guess, or shit like that. Nah, some it's just I don't know. It's it's like I remember I went to the Super Bowl, right? And I, w I was afraid to go to the Super Bowl because the Eagles were playing Tom Brady, right? Now, so the Eagles were playing Tom Brady, and I was like, am I going to spend $2,500 to go to the Super Bowl? And what it came down to was this. If I spend two grand and the Eagles lose, that would suck, right? But it would suck a lot more if I could have went to the Super Bowl and I didn't and the Eagles won. So the, I, I, I had more of a fear of missing out of that per perfect night or that perfect experience. It was worth it for me. Even if the Eagles were like a 10% chance to win, it was worth that chance to get that 10%. And that's kind of how like the coin sponsor thing is, man. Even if I play in, in 50 tournaments for the rest of my life, and I never come close to winning one of them. Just the, the just the chance that I get hot and play five good games of Madden in a row, it's not worth giving it away for real, for real. That being said, we'll see what they're talking about. No, I don't want to. I think uh, I'm. Yeah, there's not. There's not a number for the sellout. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't think I'll do it. Really, I really don't. Coin sponsored bot wars. No, I. I, I don't think there's a number because it would just make it. It would make it less passionate. 
you know, even like weekend league and even like, what's the point? Cause then you'd always think, now I will tell you this. I will tell you this. If I had a coin sponsor, I would win million percent playing the fucking tournaments until they kicked me out. I would play until they said you're not allowed to play. And then on top of that, I would play on a creep name on the low. They want to catch me until the point until one, I run into one of my homies and I let them win or they kick me out of the tournament. One or the other. One million percent. One million. One million percent. There's no way I wouldn't play them shits. So believe that. Yeah. I'm knocking people out. Honestly, I would do the show. I would just tell I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick me out. For real. On stream. One million percent. Until they try to kick me out, then I'll put a creep out there. Oh, he almost dropped that shit. My bow's watching the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, the kid, that's what they would do to me. Yes, I'm cool with that. Yes, kick me out of the tournament. I would tell you that would be the biggest story of the MCS. Them kicking me out of the tournament. I would make it the biggest goddamn tournament. I would make it. The biggest story. They dropped the ball on not making it the biggest story. Asked me to leave. What the fuck do I look like, bro? Yeah. But they don't fuck. They don't know who's set. They don't know who's coin sponsored or not. They don't know shit. They're fucking idiots, dude. They're fucking idiots. Think Marku knows. You think Marku knows? You think he knows? He don't know shit. All right, guys, let's give it another shot. Use your hand. Uh-oh. Buddy! Not yet. Y'all not ready for that. Y'all not ready for that. They're not ready for that. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're not ready. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. They're not ready yet. It's not enough. It's not enough energy in the chat yet. It's not enough energy. Oh, I think my headphones turned off. <sighs> you gotta play the salty. You gotta play the salty. There it is. Oh, y'all energy. Oh, y'all turned up a little bit. Y'all turned up a little bit. All right, guys, let's give it another shot. Use your hand. Buddy! Go! Not even that big, but you let me cap because you that small. The smoke alarm.
There it is. That's the salty intro. Next two days, we got to work on the Vos intro. Then we got to work on a Jaybird intro. Salty. Salty did it for our little man. What up, Raheem? I know I need that god damn. Bro, I need that for sounds. What up, Raheem? What up, Raheem? I gotta tweet this video out, bro. No, it was no. I swear to God, it was what up, Raheem? What up, Raheem? Bro, I gotta find that shit. Where is that at, dude? Where is that shit at? His club series win. Uh, we gotta be able to find the chat. That's your job. Somebody find what up, Raheem? Who's gonna be my man to do that? They get they get a pat on the back, a big pat on the back. To find BG is in Bot Wars, Crocodile. BG is going to play Friday night. If you guys weren't here last week, uh, we're going to have a open tournament. Any one of you guys can join. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a link together. It's going to be on Players Lounge for every every single person to join. Every one of you fuckers, except Trey Thomas underscore. Except him. He's not allowed to join. Um... Everybody else can join if you want to be. All you got to do is win the tournament. That's it. We're going to take one winner from Thursday. One winner. I don't care. You don't got to be sub to me. You don't got to be sub to anybody. You don't have to pay a dime to get into the tournament. It's a free tournament. All you need is a player's lounge account. That's all you need. You'll get into the tournament for free for anything or anybody. It will be on Xbox Thursday, August, 20, August 19th. Thursday, August 19th. The winner of that tournament on Thursday will go into Friday. And it's a four-man tournament on Friday between the winner of the tournament, BG, Ragusa, and Spamming Buttons. So we'll have Spamming, Ragusa, BG, and the tournament winner. Boom. That's four people will play Friday. The winner of that four-man tournament on Friday will play the gauntlet on Saturday night main event. No, Marcus, we're going to play on old Madden just to warm up for the new Madden. Uh, how stupid. What type of stupid fucking question is that? Is it going to be on Madden 22? No, dude, we just decided to do it. We, d we decided to do it while Madden, the new Madden was out, but we'll play on the old Madden. You know what I'm saying? They cut out Raheem. Vose whisper me. Vose is always the nerd that finds shit. Vose will find it. When it, Vose is like a detective, he will find some shit. Old Madden and Draft Champions. Exactly what it's going to be. That's what the tournament's going to be. Did we gas? The, did we gas this? Pro, did we gas this video? Did we gas? Did we gas it? Let's go, boys. Let's see, that boy found it. Let's go. What up, Raheem? <laughs> oh, I need some more sounds, man. I need some more sounds. Vos did have a beta play date. Oh, somebody got to find Vo's tweet. Vo's going to delete it because he's hearing me now. Somebody got to find his tweet about when he had to play date. That's got to go in the Vo's in the Vo's warm up video. Let's go. Somebody find it. Vo's needs to find it or he might be banned. I invited my friend over to play the beta. We're labbing right now.
Well, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Are you having a beta play date? There it is. <laughs> oh, man. That shit is funny. Where is it? Give me a timestamp. Derwin versus the world. No, <laughs> Earl is nasty. No, I can't lie, bro. Look at Earl's face, bro. That's a happy guy, bro. That's a, This is a happy guy right here. This is a happy guy. Like, bro, like, it's no coin. Like, it was crazy. It's no coin sponsor. It's really, like, no money that's going to make you, like, this happy, bro. For real. It really isn't. Like, there really is not. There really is not a uh, money. It's not. Anything that's going to make you happy like this, like you accomplish something, for real. It's not. Like, this is like genuine, like a little fucking kid happiness, for real. He looked like such a goober. He's so happy he looked like such a little goober. Look at that. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to save that. Let me make sure I put that down there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wallpaper, WRL, WRL. I got, yeah, I saved it right there. It'll be a sound, hopefully. Nah, for real, dude. I stay on land. I don't know, Rob. They crazy, bro. Damn, you walked off Matty Ice? Damn, Matty Ice. Get pop. Get your shit stuffed. All right, let's check the unbannies. Let's check the unbannies. Unbannies might be nasty tonight, boys.
I only got two. I only got two. Does anybody have any guesses who these two people are? Pops and Ro Jack Jack. Pops banned my man for, for for 24 hours. And Jack Jack has been banned for seven days. He's unbannable now. Jack Jack is unbannable now. No, Pops, he's unbannable now. Jack Jack is unbannable. Robocop. Boom. That's all we had. You know, I, I think we got to start banning some more people. The ban hammer might come down a little faster, boys. <laughs> 